Hi. Welcome back. In this video I will show you how to make use of the Server Connect library. With Server Connect library, you can create a workflow once and make use of it everywhere in your API actions. This will save you time as you don't need to recreate that workflow every time you need to implement that workflow. You will find the library option under Global in the Server Connect tab. If you have been developing apps, you will realize there are action steps or workflows that get repeated in almost all your API actions. For example, sending an email, querying the current user details, uploading files to the server and so on. You can just create these actions once in the library and use them in all your API actions. And if there is an error or a bug from that action, you can fix it once in the library. Let's query the current user details. Bear in mind that you can do everything you normally do in your API actions in the library, so there is no functionality you have to forfeit. We just queried the current user details. Now let's use it in our action steps. Click the plus button then choose core actions. The include action and the exec action are what we need to use our library actions. The exec action takes in parameters while the include action does not take in parameters. Since we are not using any parameters with our current user query in the library actions, we will choose to include the action. I will delete the old query. I will also update the rest of the steps to use the output from the include action. When you update the name of a step in the library action, make sure you update all the API action steps that use that library in order to avoid errors. Let's also update other API actions where the current user details are used. Library actions are not only useful on the back end, you can also bind their outputs on the page.
Awesome. Let's update the current user query to include the user profile photo. Awesome. The update user details API action has a photo upload step. We can move the upload step to the library. This will make the action steps shorter and we can make use of the upload step in another API action. In order to send data to our library actions we will use the param variable. We need the file and the user ID input, you can add more, if you need to. I want to check if the user ID parameter is not empty, then insert or update the user profile photo. This is essential for this workflow as I plan to use this upload action in other API steps. If I were uploading a company image, then I may have a company ID in the files table. Then check if the company ID parameter is provided and proceed to upload the image for the company.
You can also use other library actions. Change the file parameter type to file, since we are expecting a file. In order to use the upload action in the update user details API action, we will implement it with exec core action and supply the parameters needed. Now the action looks cleaner. If we add a new parameter to the action, it will show up everywhere we are using that action. Let's test it on our page. It looks like we have an error. We also have a bug, let's fix that. The upload step has a bug, let's fix it. Awesome, now everything works perfectly and we only had to fix it in one library action. You can give your exec action any name you want. The include action automatically uses the name of the action.
You can also send email with library actions. To use the send mail library action, select exec core actions and fill in the parameters. If you want to format the email body, you can use a set value and bind that value for the email body. I believe that the rest is self-explanatory. If you output your library action steps, you can bind the outputted data, this is true for include action and exec action. If this video has been helpful to you, subscribe and turn on post notifications so you don't miss the next tip, watch my getting started video series if you are new to Wappler. Thanks!